Today we're going to talk about um, how to combine, ex uh, extract, separate objects, learning about booleans a little bit, so let's take a look. Let's say that for some reason you wanted to create a door, let's say that this, uh, these two faces right here were a door, and um, you can't like open it right now because as you try, it's pulling those other edges along with it. Something that you can do up top in mesh is to, you see that these things called combine and separate. If you hit extract, that's actually going to, if I go back to object mode, turn it into two separate pieces. So just like this, they're now separated, they're extracted. Um, if I want to put them back together though, uh, I can go back to mesh combine, as you would assume. Something very interesting here though is that if I take a look at the vertices, it says I have two vertices here. I find that this display is extremely useful, right? And so just so that you know where it is, Go to display, heads up display, and poly count. I love that thing. Display, heads up display, poly count. So it tells us how many are in our scene, how many are currently on screen, and how many we have selected. Right now we have two vertices. And that's like, that's really terrible. It doesn't look like much right now, but it's not good to have two vertices right on top of each other. Um, and we'll learn about how to get rid of those in a bit. But if I actually hit mesh and separate, it remembers that these two are kind of different. We've already extracted it, so um, we can just hit separate and it pulls them back apart. That's kind of cool. The problem being that um, how do you just put things together and weld them there forever, right? Well, let's take a look at something else. Um, something a little more difficult. I'm actually going to create additional, um, additional faces here and create a cylinder. And I find that uh, this is a lot. If I, I find a lot of use out of the eight subdivision axes because what it is is basically a square. If I cut that in half, it's a square, but with twice as many, oops, um, twice as many faces going down. It's been basically smoothed once, okay? Um, so let's say that I want to attach these things. I want it, uh, a cylinder coming out of a cube. There's two ways to go about it. If I select both of them and go to mesh, there's a thing called booleans. And these are really cool. I can hit union and that will actually combine them into one shape for me. But you'll notice that I have one, two, let's take a look at this face. It has one, two, or one, two, three, four, five, six edges, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six edges. And we never really want to have a six-sided figure. In fact, we kind of only want four-sided figures in any case. Um, so this didn't work out. Uh, but it's, it's actually nice knowing that the Booleans thing is there. It can be cool. It can be nice um, if you know how to use it or if you really don't care about how the topology works out. So let's go to Booleans again and hit Difference. And you'll notice that what it does is it, it deletes the second thing that I selected and cuts that out of the first shape. So that in itself is very, very useful. Um, but let's step it back a little bit. We, wanted to, we want clean geometry here. So let's um, snap this vertex down to the bottom here and make sure that it, oops, yeah, back in this one. Oops, I got the wrong vertex. There we go. And snap it to the top of this cube. Uh, just to prepare this thing, I'm going to select all these faces extrude and I'll delete them. See? Now I have like a, a basically a, a vessel, an area for this uh, cylinder to ex, uh, expand out of. Let's select this, look on the bottom, and I'll delete all the bottom faces. Don't want the top, just the bottom. And I'll delete those. Grabbing all the bottom edges now, I'm going to extrude. Uh, I'll extrude a couple times. It'll be kind of nice. There we go. So I need to snap these so that they take on that square shape. Um, and it might be useful if you guys see, where is it? Wireframe unshaded. That way we can always see where the edges live. Let's take these vertices. And I'm actually going to just hold V and snap it into place for each of these. Oops. 
uh, vertex, grab this, and snap it. Um, the problem is that these are still two separate objects, so once I'm done, what I should do is combine them. But again, they, uh, the vertices are not working, so there, there's like two vertices on one spot. So you know what, let's actually go ahead and combine it now. And if I take a look at these vertices right here, it says I have two. So I'm not going to further go on with that. There's actually a tool called, or there's a thing called com connect component, or merge components, this is the one. Edit mesh merge components. If I do this, it's actually going to take anything that's close by to each other within the right, um, the right boundaries and merge them. So I can actually do that again over here. I have these two selected and I will merge the components. So that's something very useful for us to do, merge components. There's another tool. Merge vertex tool. That allows me just to click and drag to move it into place. So let's do this one more time. That's uh, our merge vertex tool in our mesh tools. Let's do it the old fashioned way though, right? Let's take this vertex, snap it, select these two. In fact, if you select more than that, it should be fine, merge components, because uh, these are not directly on top of each other. Um, Maya should be smart enough to figure that out. And we'll take this vertex, if I, if I ever can, and move it here, select a whole bunch, and we can merge it, right? So now we actually have clean geometry. And what do I mean by clean geometry? Well, I mean the fact that every single one of these, except for the, the top faces, are quads. So as I use my insert edge loop tool, it should be smart enough to know how to move from one thing to the other. In fact, these triangles, if I want to turn them into quads, we'll select these edges, every other edge, delete them, and now they're four-sided figures, right? So there we go. Um, just as a recap, we learned about the Booleans, union difference. I never use intersection. We've learned how to combine objects together, how to extract pieces out and separate them. We've learned how to merge components, um, how to snap these things together, and we've merged them using our uh, merge vertex tool as well. Whole lot of different tools for us to use, okay? Um, so what we're gonna try to do is to make this cube. And uh, last step, if you're up for it, insert edge loop tool. Let's create some supporting edges all around here. And these ones might be a little funny. Yeah, we'll try something like that. Supporting edges all around. And some supporting edges up top as well. That way, when we smooth it, it should retain its shape. Let's turn off the wireframe on shaded. And yeah, it's more or less retained its smooth shape there. 